We're going to do a estimate in Digital Wrench and change it to a work order. So by clicking on the icon on the far left, we go into our estimate screen, click on insert and add estimate. To find the customer or add a customer, you click on the dot box with three dots. We're going to select this customer. Then you can go to look up or add to add your vehicle. You can add as many vehicles for a customer as you want. We're going to pick the Yukon. Then we're going to add our labor. You can add labor on a one at a time basis for jobs that you don't do very often. Or if you create a labor list in the program, you can add from the labor list. So I can go to the belts section. I can replace, replace the belt. I can go to the parts. I can add from the inventory list and go to belts. I can pick the belt that we're looking for, which is the serpentine belt. Now you see you have your labor, your parts. Everything is totaled for you. If you have any special disposal charges for anything, you can add them here. If you're going to add something that you put in your packages, like an oil change, you can click on the package button. Pick oil change. It'll automatically add the parts in that package to the work order estimate change your totals and you're done now the customer comes in and wants the work done you can change it to a work in progress by clicking on this F2 button down here the work in progress button is this icon second from the left you can see we have two work orders here so we take this work order we can change it if we want to or we can change it to completed so let's say we had to add some additional labor you could add one hour of work to this job type the description pick your technician and save that so that's added to the to the work order that exists already just save the work order when you're finished with it you can change it to completed You can pick your payment type, complete the work order, you can print the invoice. Now I'm going to preview the invoice so you can see what it looks like and we have several different types. Here's your invoice and it switches it over to a completed invoice. It's that simple.